There was a time, long, long ago, when Father Christmas did not leave toys as presents on Christmas Eve for children to enjoy. But he would sneak into the homes of the very, very poor and needy and leave coins in their stockings or their socks that were left by the fire to dry. This is a tradition that we remember by still leaving our Christmas stockings by the fire, if we have a fireplace today. And by eating chocolate coins that we might find in our Christmas stockings. Children have enjoyed a Christmas stocking for over a hundred years and it was an important part of their Christmas present a long time ago. In modern times it might just be full of little knickknacks and little toys but children would really have looked forward to their Christmas stocking and it would have been part of their main present. So what would children have got in Victorian times over 150 years ago? Well if you were lucky, here's my stocking, you might have got a little wooden toy, something like this. This still fascinates children today, it's a Jacob's Ladder. It's a very simple toy, but it's still quite magical. Or something like a cup and ball maybe. Another very old toy, and a simple toy that children might have got in a Christmas stocking. I'll leave that for the experts. Finally, you might have got a little treat. Something like an orange. Now, you may think an orange is fairly everyday today, but 150 years ago in Victorian times, for Victorian children, an orange would have been a real treat. It was an expensive fruit and very exotic, so its taste would have been just amazing to children. So that would have been quite a special present to have at Christmas time. But there are a few other things in here too. You may have got some nuts as well. And again, these were something that were quite special foods, quite expensive, that you might have at Christmas time. So again, children would have been quite excited to have something like that. You also, in your stocking, may have got a few coins. Now, today you might get chocolate money. Remember what I said about that story of Father Christmas in olden times? Well, in Victorian times, you may have got an actual little coin. Um, again, uh, people didn't have a lot of money, so it was lovely to get a coin. Obviously, richer children may have had more expensive items in their Christmas stocking. What about if you were naughty? Well, there weren't lots of presents. So, if you were naughty, Father Christmas would tell you you had been naughty by leaving you a lump of coal in your Christmas stocking. Now, coal is a useful thing back in Victorian times. It would keep your fire lit and keep you nice and warm. But as a child, a lump of coal is not something you want to find in your Christmas stocking. You better be better behaved next year. <laughs>